Jordan Love, feeling better, must handle pressure. Better versus Rams. Green Bay Packers quarterback Jordan Love had a rough outing against the Minnesota Vikings last week. After returning from a knee injury that had sidelined him for two games, Love struggled to handle Minnesota's relentless pass rush, which ranks among the best in the NFL. Now, with his knee feeling better, Love faces another challenge this Sunday as the Packers take on the Los Angeles Rams. Dirt Love under fire. In his return, Love's mobility was clearly limited. As the game quickly slipped out of Green Bay's control, the Vikings' defense pounced, sensing the opportunity to disrupt the Packers' offense. According to Next Gen Stats, Love faced immense pressure on 21 dropbacks. Tied for the most of any quarterback in the league last week, Minnesota blitzed 46.4% of the time, the fourth highest rate in the NFL, making Love a frequent target. Despite being sacked only twice, Love was hit 10 times and battered throughout the game. When asked about his health, Love downplayed the knee issue, saying, The knee's feeling fine. It's typical post-game soreness, but the body is feeling better after a few days of rest. Her struggles under pressure. The Packers' 31-29 loss to the Vikings wasn't just about Love's physical limitations. It also exposed his struggles under pressure. According to Pro Football Focus, Love completed only 7 of 19 passes when under duress. His 36.8% completion rate ranked 25th out of 29 quarterbacks, pressured at least six times last week, with just 4.9 yards per attempt and a passer rating of 31.1. Love's performance under pressure left much to be desired. However, Love showed resilience, taking the hits and continuing to push through. His ability to stay in the game, especially after a scary moment when a defender fell on the back of his knee, was a positive sign. That was the big test, Love said getting hit and seeing how I would respond, it definitely gave me more confidence moving forward. Finding a rhythm late in the game. While the first half was a disaster, with the Packers down 28-0, Love began to find his rhythm in the second half. He threw for 222 yards in the final 16 minutes, completing 15 of 19 passes. Though some might argue that the Vikings' defense eased up with a big lead, Love believes the production was genuine. I think we did some really good things in the second half. We put ourselves in a position to have a chance, but it was too little, too late. Despite throwing 54 passes, far more than head coach Matt LaFleur had planned, Love's increased reps allowed him to get comfortable again after missing time. As the game went on, I started improving, getting back into the timing and ball placement, Love said. Those reps definitely helped me moving forward. Our next challenge, the Rams. Looking ahead to Sunday's matchup against the Rams, Love will face a defense that, while statistically poor, has a knack for applying pressure. The Rams have the highest pressure rate in the league, even though they blitz less than most teams. According to Next Gen Stats, they rank 27th in yards allowed per rush and dead last in yards allowed per pass, making them vulnerable but still dangerous due to their ability to disrupt quarterbacks. For Love, improving against pressure will be crucial. If he can handle the Rams' pass rush more effectively than he did the Vikings, he'll have the chance to exploit their leaky defense. With Christian Watson expected to miss time due to injury, Love will need to build on his late-game connection with receivers like Jaden Reed and Romeo Dobbs. Confidence moving forward. With his knee feeling better and the offense finding some rhythm late in last week's game, Love is optimistic about what's to come. I like where my knee's at coming out of the game, and it gives me confidence going forward. Love said. If he can shake off the rust and handle the pressure more effectively, Love and the Packers have a good opportunity to bounce back against the Rams. The key will be consistency and avoiding the slow starts that have plagued Green Bay in recent weeks. If Love can stay upright and comfortable in the pocket, Sunday could be a turning point for both him and the Packers' season.